hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Deepa and this is Divine Tarot. I know I have been MIA, but it feels so strange to even, you know, come in front of the camera and record. I have taken like a two week break. Yes, all to myself, you know. I think I went out after so long time and you know strangely my ninth house Saturn is going to activate from January 17th so you know I'm gonna have wheels on my feet and always just traveling I always knew this that's why you know I enjoyed the 2022 in my home I really enjoyed that you know now I'm I'm in the all travel mode yes so you know I want you guys to check out on the community because I have mentioned everything there yes so I know you guys have missed me, many of them, you know, whatsapped me and they checked like, you know, what's happening, what's the current energy, what our DM is doing and all of that. So yeah, yes. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Yes. So I'm going to use star seed right now and let's check like what is the current energy and always remember to take what resonates and leave the rest because you know, this video may be to somebody who needs it in the hour of need. Yes. Right. So let's check like what's happening. Yes. Right. So I just saw fall into my arms. So I think I'm going to take that. Yes, I feel like you're not taking that card. And this is one of my favorite decks like the star seed tarot deck. I just love that. Yes. Right. So we have your fall into my arms surrender holding the opposites extremes of life. Yes. So you know that you know, um, you're, I see more of you both, right? So it talks about uh, both of you guys' energy. So, you know, there is this song by Ivor that I really love. Yes, and I really love shows that has Vikings and, you know, all that warrior kind of. I really love action. Yes, so I really love, you know, um, I want you guys to watch The Last Kingdom. Yes, you know, which is a real story. And um, by of uh, Uhtred the Bebenberg. Uhtred from Bebenberg. Yes, right. Uh, it's a story about that and England, some reason I always connected to that, uh, you know, show because, you know, in these two weeks, I also, you know, cracked a lot of past life. I cracked like, what was my name? My name was Geeta Kanwar. Yes, when I, when I just say this name also, I, you know, I get goosebumps. Yes. So my name was Geeta Kanwar and, you know. I want you guys to, you know, wait. I don't want to give too much information because, you know, I'm withholding all of this for my book. Yes, right? Ha. Huh. Yes, so I'm withholding all of this for my book because, you know, I want you guys to read the book. Yes, so everything is in that. So I always connected to that show. I want you guys to, you know, watch that. So why I'm telling that is, you know, I connect a lot to my, uh, you know, to Ivor, uh, the singer name is Ivor and uh, she sings from the soul, yes and um, there is a song which I want you guys to watch, it is known as Surrender and I want you guys to you know watch the lyrics, yes, so the minute I picked this I felt surrender, I'll tell you in my journey why uh, my surrender phase started from last year, yes this is very important you know. Twin Flame is all about experience, sharing experience and no two stories are same. No two, uh, you know, everybody have a different experience. But, you know, you may remember your core divine feminine experiences in the hour of need. Yes. By the way, you know, I got these bangles from Jaipur. I just don't want to leave these bangles. Yeah. I just love them. Yeah. All I, and, you know, when they form this, yeah, when they form that star shape, I just love them. Yes. So, right. So, so in my journey, yes. So I always, even if I was the runner and the divine feminine, that is a runner in my story. And I always knew, I always, you know, uh, tried to warn and, you know, tried to stop and tried to give my abundance and, you know, but still went in the opposite direction. Why I'm telling this is because, you know, you cannot stop somebody. You cannot, you know, withhold somebody. They have, they will go in the direction, you know, they are meant to go. Yeah. So I tried my best test. You know, I'm talk telling about all the way from, you know, 2017, 18, all the way. I was just, you know, praying, you know, uh, maybe once, you know, my divine masculine will listen to me. Yeah. I prayed a lot, lot. And I'm telling from a point of surrender. Yes, and this came in me last year. Yes, and I've just given up. You know, it's pointless. If he wants to listen, you know, he will listen. Else, this is pointless. And I, the, I really like. I have really tried five years. 
I've tried five years to, you know, change things. So there is, there is this, and I, uh, in this journey, you're always faced head on with, you know, your insecurities, your fear, because, you know, divine wants you to work on this, Spirit, uh, you know, to have a spiritual growth. Yes, and I was always challenged. You know, I wish I could share core details of my journey, yes. But it was not easy, yes, right. And I I have surrendered, yes, from last year only. Like, you know, that it is, you know, uh, pointless. Yes, because everything has to happen in, in the divine timing, yes. You must have heard many people tell about this word, but it's really true. Divine timing, yes, right. So here we have surrender holding the opposite extremes of life. So you will reach this point like I did. You will just completely surrender. I've just surrendered. You know, I have actually, re you know, I want to tell you guys, you divine feminine this, that I've actually come to a point that, you know, I, I am okay staying single for the rest of my life. I'm okay, you know, um, move, like moving on in life. Not because I cannot do that with another man. Because, you know, you know, once you meet your twin flame, it's the end. Yes, so no matter how, so I am just, you know, I've just surrendered I because I do not know the outcome. Yes, so even if I'm psychic and even if I know, but I feel that you always need to pr prepare yourself because I am just your decoding the cards. You have to always prepare yourself for the opposite, for the opposite, for the extreme direction. Yes, right. And the fall into my arms, I also picture, you know, I, you may get many dreams like this. I'm also picturing, you know, your divine masculine getting dreams of, you know, sleeping in your laps, you know, falling in your arms and all of that. This is also dream channeling here. Yes, very strong, the three water signs, the Scorpio, Pisces and Cancer. Yes, because, you know, I'm, I am feeling a lot of, you know, water. Yes, so generally water signs have a very close bond. Yes, I am very scared of heights. But if you if you give me a water ride, I'll do it like this. Yeah, I just get that enthusiasm. Yes, right. So... What else we have? So I have your jump in. Andro, maiden, energy, adventure, say yes to change. Yes. So, you know, in I always said that whatever happens, like whatever decisions you take in Scorpion season, you always see a, um, you know, a thrust, a thrust in Sagittarius season. Yes. And this is all about that, you know, the trust, the jump in. Yes. So, uh, you know, yesterday I, um, you know, read a quote which say that, you know, to be a change, you have to do the change. Yes, you have to step in. I always, you know, stood by that. You know, when I quit my job, you know, when I quit from modeling, I went to job, you know, when I quit my influencing. Right now, you know, everybody are in, seeing my fashion and all of that. So many brands are approaching me. I'm like, I'm only going to do fashion brands because my brand, I am not going to promote any beauty brand and all of that. So, no, no matter how much you're going to pay me, like I'm just done. I've done that for five years. I'm just done. Yeah. So it's all about that decision. Right. So jump in talks about that. Yes. And this is even your divine masculine that is decided to jump in. Because I'll tell you extreme opposite. Like your person has to see the extreme opposite to know your worth. I always say this. And I am telling as somebody being in being psychic and I tried a lot to stop my divine masculine. A lot. Like to the maximum. I think I'll tell my kids also that don't be like your dad, you know, who will uh, go and see the opposite. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. So I have, you know, tried my best. But you know, what has to happen as at it at its pace will happen yes so right so i have made myself so strong for even the extreme most yes in the worst case i have to leave everything and you know settle down in my farmhouse yes i've also prepared for that yes and you know it breaks my mom's heart seeing me like this yes but i'm like you know you have to prepare yourself see this, in this journey you also have a bond because you're answerable to your parents you know you also have this bond yes mainly your bread bread, bread relation blood relations yes so you're answerable so you have to even you know even if you have a kar karmic fan or you do not have or you know you you are answerable like you have to you know tell and you know when my, i told my mom about what is twin flame and you know how like everything stops when you meet the twin flame the one like your life is at standstill yes so i told about that and you know my mom is like my mom just you know and whoever knows my story applaud me that you know i have uh, you know, created that shift myself. So I, you know, suggest you guys also to do that. Yes, right. Not everybody have moon and Mars in Taurus. Yes, right. But yeah, you have to stand, withstand that every time you are tested. Yes, divine feminines mainly. So, you know, 
i hope when my children see this you know i don't know if i will conceive with my uh, divine masculine or you know i'll adopt like sushmita sen i don't know but yeah but i hope when my children see this you know they know that you know not every everything need to be accepted yes you always need to stand you always need to you know withstand what is wrong yes and when my divine masculine showed the worst behavior i withstand and you know this is not right so i always say that divine feminine is also a mentor is also a teacher yes you have to withstand you have to create the change and i always said about that yes and i always stand by you know justice yes so if i am not being treated right i will you know voice out that yes so i want you divine feminines also to stand by that and you know um you know withhold that right so because you know you are shakti yes and shakti needs to be worshiped yes right <laughs> and i said that i just see this cat yes so we have i am sorry defenselessness writing past wrongs uprooting so the major the major sign that i'm seeing here and sagittarius is all about action yes so we have stepped into december sagittarius and i always say that november sagittarius behaves like your scorpion only december sagittarius is actually the december sagittarius right so here i you know uh, see a very uh, strong regretful zone of your divine masculine yes you know something that he said to you and the things that he has done yes that's what exact energy i you know picked here which talks about justice yes and you know right and um, uh, writing past wrongs is all about action like reverse like right so reversing things right so a lot of time is also gone yes because you know i am sorry i'm picking up with that that there you know a lot of um you know a lot of uh, time has passed yes and i am sorry also talks about your divine masculine you know um, asking for forgiveness from the universe yes and a very strong twin flame because you know this is like your yin and yang right and for many of you you know i'm seeing that you guys are seeing dreams probably you know your you uh, where your divine masculine is you know apologizing yes and you know sending the signals that you is sorry for the behavior right right and we also have the uprooting see i'm just you know picturing somebody having an argument right and this is your divine masculine your divine masculine having an argument with his family to some of you it may resonate because you know i just felt like you know they are um, when you know you are in that zone wherein you are you know a lot like um, fighting yes that's what i'm hearing here your divine masculine's family yes right and the void stop embrace winter great cosmic womb yes so yeah there comes this void phase and i am in this void phase yes if any of you divine feminines are in this please let me know i am in this void phase you know wherein it stands still yes right uh, i am picturing a black hole and i'll tell you this is not it's not positive it's negative it's that you know surrender again the evor song yes so if this video resonated to you you are in this zone which is the last phase of your twin flame journey yes this is where the shift happens and this is where this 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 shift happens from color i just love this deck man it it just you know pops in my face like i just record like this yeah so this this uh miracle needs to happen yes so i am exactly right here in this from this black void to this color i don't know yeah right so if you this video resonated to you let me know in the comments yes i know you guys missed me many of them yeah i was in this you know um of this zone where i you know i was just enjoying food you know i was enjoying travel i was in this zone yes from now you'll see a lot of videos from me see i can do the table spread but you know everybody love to see me <laughs> and you know i always said people who have venus in libra their face has a lot of value yeah their face has you know incredible amount of value so i'm like you know i have to dress up i also love to dress up so i love to doll up so i'm like i'll come here and you know shoot a video for you guys yeah so right so there is a divine masculine which is in the regretful zone in crying mode yes and you know he is replaying all of the things which he said to you right because i am seeing you jump in and sagittarius is all about you know shift and today being you know pavnami and you know your full moon and you know it came in rohini nakshatra which is in a miracle in itself yes so today is that you know transit yes and um definitely see every full moon with every full moon comes a learning lesson with every full moon comes a shift 
yes moon is moon yes moon is the calm yes moon is the mind so yeah so many of them ask me like how do i have the stamina to fight that is the exact reason my moon and mars in rohini which gets exalted that that's why i have yeah so that's why i have a psychology you know a psychologist mom also the same planners gave that yes so right so it's all about full moon always creates a shift and this full moon was in sagittarius it came in taurus in rohini nakshatram yes right so there is a massive shift and it talks about this void void change yes a void shift right so i'm going to tell a few things which i am seeing you know as a divine feminine on this journey itself the first thing that i'm seeing is 69 yes even my co-divine feminines are saying that 69963369 and one thing that i'm seeing incredible amount of number of times yes it is like to the max yeah i want to tell this i want to tell this in the you know in my video yes right so i am seeing like thousands and thousands and thousands of red roses from the past from last month october yeah from two months i am seeing incredible amount of red roses i am seeing white roses pink roses but the ratio of red roses is more yes so red roses i am seeing like you know and i am seeing quotes like will you marry me and i am seeing quotes like uh, be my wife these two i am seeing more like in statements will you marry me and be my wife i am seeing this a lot yes and i am seeing triple four a lot and i am seeing obviously 11 11 i see a lot yes and i am seeing i am seeing tortoise a lot yes right and i am seeing in spirit animals i am not seeing anything much right now i am only seeing tortoise and i am seeing incredible incredible amount of you know roses i am seeing beach that has white sand yes and i am seeing you know paris a lot i am seeing eiffel tower a lot from my me as a divine feminine this is what i am seeing a lot yes and i am so blessed because you know so many of them come back to me that they watch my video and you know it helps their twin flame journey this is this is the purpose of this channel yes that's it yeah this was this channel was made that everybody find the twin flame everybody get you know even a one pointer from me from my experience in the twin flame journey yes right so right um to me it's not about winning anymore yeah it's like i have never treated this journey as a winning yes i it was just you know the shift of you know in my divine masculine to open his eyes i am just waiting when he'll turn 36 to actually find out the entire past life it is it is going to come in his face like this and i'm actually waiting what will happen to that guy yeah it it will just you know trigger that guy hit him very badly yeah so i'm i always said that yeah in my story uh, you know by then i think he'll be father also yeah so right so yeah so this shift in the, today's reading this shift from that black void to this rainbow void still a void see void as in not uh, i don't want you guys to you know term void as something negative yes void is something very beautiful because you know it it can you know take in energy yes void talks about that yes so i want you you know i want um i want you guys to wait yes right this talk this is something that's going to happen very soon yes i'm picturing very soon energy yes so yeah so those are everything that i'm seeing and there is a massive uh, you know uh, your person wanting to change like uh, you know changing in terms of action yes i am picturing a lot of horses i am seeing a lot of you know brown horses i am seeing you know the chariot horses two three horses when i was in jaipur also i saw a lot of horses yes so a lot of movement yes something in 3d yes a 5d action in 3d yes something that's happening in higher self in 3d yes right so another major change that's going to happen in my life is you know after 18 years after 18 years of my rahu dasha i am stepping into jupiter dasha which is starting from february 2023 yes it's a major shift because you know my dad said this many people tell that you know um, like that's that's what exactly my father said yeah so jupiter the size for 16 years yeah which includes like all of the things with jupiter includes i am going to keep it suspense i am going to tell you guys in the next video but just a glimpse you know a major dasha change in your astrology always talks about a major shift it talks about this shift 
which I'm exactly seeing here, which is starting on February 14th <laughs> on the Valentine's Day. Yes, right. So I'm feeling enough of star seed. Yes. So now we're gonna get into, you know, if you guys want real, like real divine feminine, um, you know, video from me, I want you guys to watch my all the previous video which is a documentation in itself all my previous videos and you know which is a journey in itself because now um this is something that's you know it is taking me forward in my channel you will see uh you know not only twin flame you'll see career i wanted to you explore every area yes so i want to explore a lot of you know videos and you know many of them just like to see me yes then you know when i've done uh in the you know on the table and all of that the spread and all of that many people like to see me in the video for some reason yes right so yeah so i wanna keep doing more and more and more and more videos to whoever it resonates i want people to watch because you know this is that zing in me yeah to explore my channel yes so i'm gonna go into light seers and then we're gonna go into astro codes and i'm gonna give you a timing yes i saw triple two in my recording i want my videos precise i want my videos to point i want to convey yes because you know i've told about this that you know i want my uh, videos to be watchable more like more see in when when you have that one hour i know my people just love to watch my one hour videos and all of that but then yeah i'm in the zone and i want to explore the zone you know wherein uh, my video is 30 minutes to 45 minutes long to the point and i want to just you know give that bang on energy yes to that to that you know bullseye point yes so in this reading it is this this void shift it's happening huh? if you're watching this video the void shift is happening and it's very strong because i'll tell you here this all talks about that this four cards and a star seed is my favorite 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 deck yes it it just speaks to me because i am the venusian star seed it just speaks to me yeah it's like you know download of my crown chakra massive yes massive level yes right and we have the lovers card yes so a major void shift yes so if this video is resonating to you your person is you know having these discussions with his family with his friends and you know taking your stand coming your side yes and many people also are talking because you know i am picturing that with his lovers many people are already talking about you both in a pair yes right so it may be only one person but that but that is being talked upon and if you are watching this video it's definitely a sign yes that it's being talked upon yes right so the lovers all talks about you know you as a pair and you in collaboration like how would your future be so people are actually talking about if you guys you know uh, you both would you know very example you both would look very good in black you both would look very good in red something like that yes and you would wear coordinated outfits and you know you you guys will have massive name and fame together people are talking about this i'll tell you why i'm so strong about this point is because you know this came in this jump in hard on top of this yes and it talks about all color yes and you know people are also talking about um you know if you have kids like which features would come Yes, so I am the brains and my guy is, you know, the physical aspect. Yes, so right, even I am that, but I think my brain highlights too much. Yes, right, and you know, <laughs> I want my kids to have my eyes. Huh? Yes, and I am very specific. I am leaving this in the universe. I want my kids to have my eyes. Yes, right, and Nine of Swords talks about an energy. This is the past energy. Come on, yes. So from the past, you know, um, any time you shift into two major seasons, like, you know, uh, Scorpion and Sagittarius are two big seasons. You will not have this when you're sh uh, shifting from Sagittarius to Capricorn. You'll have this because, you know, Scorpion is very intense. And even Sagittarius is very intense. So when you have this shift, yes, you go through this, you know, a little bit of trauma phase, both the sides. is because, you know, you guys want to reunite. So that's why. So this little bit of, you know, ups and downs. And I always say that whenever you cry out or whenever you, you know, release anger, the love increases more. Yes. And I want you guys to embrace that. Yes. Because, you know, I also embrace that. I, I embrace every single emotion. If I'm feeling anger, if I'm feeling, you know, like crying, this is what my mom taught me. Yes. So and I even leave that out to you guys because, you know, you have to embrace every emotion because Nine of Swords talks about that. Yes. Embracing every emotion. If I'm feeling anger, if I'm feeling, you know, crying, if I'm feeling pain, if I'm, you know, happy, if I'm excited, every form of emotion, even if I'm horny, yes, I want to embrace that. Because, you know, that just is, just, 
just doesn't happen yes and your person is also you know doing that yes i have you know seen so many tarot card readers you know with cards that you know i masturbate a lot thinking about you yes so to you also it may resonate and you may catch this energy definitely your person is masturbating thinking about you and this will happen a lot in twin flame because of the astral sex yes even when he's sad he'll masturbate even when he's happy even when he's on yes he'll masturbate thinking about you a lot because you know your person is having flashes nine of swords talks about that yes your person is having flashes thinking about you your person is having like everywhere he sees you yes when he's eating when he's sleeping if he went out for a movie he went out for a drive he's driving his bike anything he pictures you are there that is all known about energy belt yes that is the exact void i'm talking about because you know in that energy belt it's all you divine feminine yes right another card that we have is yes and four of swords all talks about house see in this um you know um in my previous i think a lot of videos prior yes so i have also seen you know many divine masculines are purchasing a home i am exactly picturing that or you know they are in plans or they are applying for a house loan yes that sort of energy is very significant yes wherein your person is planning a home yes to for you guys to stay together yes so this is all very 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 forward in the journey and if it's resonating to you and i want you to take that yes so i am just here at the mercy of you know universe whatever it wants to convey yes right so i'm willing to stop on the tarot cards yes now we're going to go into yes astro codes right so let's see what comes out so again 4000 yes house is very 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 strong yes your person is planning to buy a house yes six again a number six four thousand all talks about that four of swords and four see the two main energies today is the void shift yes from that you know that black hole zone to that colors void yes and void is very good because you know you can suck up energy it's very very nice and your person is you know wanting to jump into this void of you he wants to be in your energy belt he wants to spend the rest of his life with you he wants to you know embrace this happy zone that you are in yes because everything in this journey once you know you uh, your guy is awakened from that unawakened to awakened oh my god i'm just dropping cards yeah from that unawakened to awakened you know you have this shift where in things you like used to like you do not like anymore in the spiritual path you actually you know in, uh, experience that yes so your person is in that zone and he is wanting to jump in this void of yours yes in your energy belt yes so i'm going to see what else comes up yes square semi square queen tension yes see i just said that yeah that your person is wanting to merge in jump in your void yeah so a very strong void shift yes right jump in void he just wants to merge off can you see he wants to embrace your every body part i'm also getting your sexual thoughts yes so he wants to embrace your every body part and you know merge in for some of you you guys have very beautiful skin is he talking about me my guy yeah so your person you know um, likes your shoulder area yes right and i'm also you know picturing your neck area yes because you know that's the thought that i got with this two words yes you people may also be seeing love words a lot yes right i know i am not seeing yes i'm not um, as i said i'm all i'm seeing is red roses every angle every where red roses if i go to any restaurant there red roses i'm getting roses yeah my friends are giving me roses 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 yeah there is one song in telugu known as rose 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 roja puva yeah <laughs> so i'm hearing that song yeah right so yeah so your person is you know wanting to merge into your energy belt and your void that's very strong today yes right and now we're going to go into let me pick one more on the astro code yes you know because i am channeling just see how look at divine because i'm ja channeling very crystal pinpoint energy even universe is giving me like that yeah it's like take this is the energy of today yes right so we have dignified yes right dignified strength yeah a lot of house man a lot of house crazy house yeah so i'll tell you guys yeah i really love um, i'm telling you my preference yes so i really love disciplined men who are serious yeah 
who are like you they have that serious look and you know who are very disciplined who are that one woman man i generally from my childhood are like that because you know my dad was like that my grandfather who was in navy was like that so somehow i you know like that kind of vibe my dad is also very like in that category yeah so if you see my choices i like in my south i like junior and tr who's actually like that yes i like you know i like gopi chand who's also like that yes i i just have a hatke <laughs> choice in men yeah i like serious men yeah right and um i in um, north and all i like i like milind soman a lot man like i just love that guy yeah so and in in that funny category only ranveer singh i like yes and my choice of men is you know absolutely hatke even if you see ben affleck is like that virat kohli is like that yeah if you see your core divine masculine also for some reason i get attracted to serious men i get attracted to you know who are this patni vrata type of men yeah who are you know one man one woman man yeah that's what i always get attracted yes so right <laughs> so my twin flame is trying to be that yeah so let me know what is your choice yes i want to know for some reason i always like you know uh, men who are my same age because you know i watched a lot of rom com from childhood yes um you know which spoke about you know um falling in love in the school and you know turning that into marriage as they grew like that kind of stories i always connected yes and you know i always for some reason love somebody who's into music and i love somebody you know who has a lot of hair i i am a hair person yeah who has a lot of biceps such kind of you know vibe i always attracted yes so your person here is you know changing for you if you also are like me like the dignified category yeah right see one more thing that i really notice you know these divine masculines are all into this gymming they love gym they love to work out every divine masculine i've seen that yes and every divine feminine loves fashion she loves to dress up i am like the flag bearer yeah <laughs> yeah i just love to dress up like it fashion is like zing for me yeah right so yeah so let me know in the comments so whatever is your preference your person is actually be- wanting to be that i'll tell you why i am telling that so strongly is because of this card yeah it came here and just read just read this okay square semi square i can't even pronounce this yeah square semi square yeah so it's like you know he wants to be that semi square that you're looking out for to complete that square yeah <laughs> yeah so now on the you know tarot timing oracle yes right so we're going to see what comes out so the main energy and in terms of you know astrology yes so we have mercury we have venus in sagittarius right and we have mars in taurus all the way till march and mars is in taurus uh in rohini nakshatra for next 3 months all the way till february it's a bang one yes right and which all talks about see mars and venus talks about you know twin flames like the two counterparts two divine counterparts yes so that is very important and jupiter is free from saturn from jan 17th jupiter will get permission like this you see many people are getting married like i have myself fixed almost 30 murats for weddings yeah january february march after jan like after that you know that mass i don't know how what do we say that in english yes so right after that uh you know from the dhanur mass and all of that like after all of that yes from jan 22nd i have fixed so many murat february is all of murat march is all of murat april is because Fe- you know jupiter is released by saturn that is why all karmic lessons are learned yes that's when you know jupiter gets permission to get married if you want to get married yeah jupiter permission is very very important like jupiter is the planet that you know gets you married yes right so now i'm going to decode on the tarot of timing yes so i'm going to flash the card right here so you please take what resonates to you yes in your story yes the first card march something to do with in march yes it can be you know your uh, you know you may meet up your guy in march yes and you know somebody you know uh, one more energy that i'm really picking up is you know the divine masculine siblings yes if your divine masculine has a sister i know a co divine feminine yeah so it is march yes right march i'm very picking up very strongly february yes again february the twin flame month for some of you see this is something about talking about void shift so the void shift can also be a wedding remember that because you know i'm telling here about jupiter yes 
right and another we have is within 6 months yes for some of you spring i i am picturing somebody coming to india if you are abroad within 6 months you're going to come to india yeah in the month of spring yeah that's what i am getting so please take whatever resonates within 6 months yeah right and <laughs> so we have here the wheel of fortune so this is no timing indicated but things will be in your favor yes so which talks about divine timing like god is already you know creating that shift behind the scene right but this thing doesn't involve a timing for few of you another card that i have is in between 21st july and 20th august you know i just you know felt yeah that leo season right yeah which talks about strength card absolutely right Leo talks about many many people see Leo like what I was saying. Many people see lions, yeah. So in their journey, so that was your reading today, guys. Yeah. So very short, sweet. It talks about void shift. Yes, a very 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 massive, uh, you know, big level planning is happening by your divine masculine. Yes, for you to be in your energy belt. So that is the reading for you today. So I'll see you guys in the next video with a very you know to the point bullseye reading. Yes. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, this is Deepa bidding a bye. Bye guys. Take care. Yeah.